So this is a tree that I am going to make into a multi-grafted fig tree. Um, it's very established. It's a very, it's an older tree. You can look at it. It's been in ground maybe one year since transplant. Um, the root ball was huge, so I don't see why it wouldn't be well established by now. Usually it takes about six months to one year after a transplant for the roots to get established. Sorry about the background noise, that's my pull equipment. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take off these, this new growth and this new growth. And it's highly unlikely that this is going to root, but I'm going to stick it in the soil anyway. Now, I'm going to put a codota on here, and it's about the same thick uh, thickness. I'm going to cut it off right here. And then on here, I'm going to look for fresh growth. So that's still dead. Let's go lower. That's dead. Let's see, Let's see how far down we got to go to get some live, something alive here. I think it's dead all the way till here. That was dead. There we go. The way you can tell it's still alive is the cambium layer is still green. The cambium layer is the layer that um, is alive. All the rest in here is, I guess, technically dead. You want the cambium layer on that one and the cambium layer on this one to be connected so that they can fuse together and heal together and provide this cutting with energy. So let's get cutting. What I'm gonna first start to do is I'm gonna cut a slit in the middle of this. It's a little bit harder because it's older wood. Be careful not to slip and cut yourself. Turn it around this way. Now that I got a slit in that, I'm going to try to make this into a sharp point where it'll be able to connect on the cambium layers. It's hard to cut through the knots, so I didn't choose a very good piece to do it, but I'm going to try. This is not the correct tool, but you can use it just because of whatever you have on hand. All right, let's see if I can get a good connection. Actually, let's, I got to thin that out a little bit more. As you can see it's a little bit thin. I'm gonna test it. This side should be good. Let's see if I can get a good connection between both pieces of wood. Um, the diameter of this piece that is alive is thicker than this. All you really need is for the cambium layer to connect on one side. Okay, so that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to make this end thinner.
Sorry if I'm not getting it on camera, but I'm just trying to get, get it to the point where it's gonna work. At this point, you could cut off the end of this. It's not too big of a deal. All right, let's see if I can get a good connection now. It's all trial and error. The reason I'm doing this so much is because I don't want it to fail. I want the best chances for this to work out. Now, if you can see on this side, I'm gonna have a decent connection between this cambium layer and this cambium layer. It could be better, but like I said, I'm just trying to trying to do this while I'm videoing it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this with parafilm um, to keep keep the moisture in and make sure that um, no extra moisture gets in to cause like mold or any of that and also to protect it from any insects so let's do that i'm starting low so that i can get a good tight connection before I get up to the actual bonding between the tree and the new cutting. Scion, I guess you'd call it. I'm gonna wrap the scion all the way to the top. You wanna make sure that the scion doesn't dry out. If it does, then you are going to have your cutting fail or your graft fail. When you're working like this, um, usually you'll want to tie this off to be tight, but since this is this piece of wood is actually holding it very tightly, um, I'm not worrying about that. I just want to go back and look at it and make sure that the cambium layer is as close as possible before I go ahead and finish sealing it off. One more layer just to be sure. You don't wanna waste your time with um, all this work that you're doing only for it to fail. Of course, they're not all gonna take. But you can just do your best and that's it. Check the bond one more time. Make sure that your cambium layers are touching in most as many places as possible. The more places it's touching, the higher chance for success. And that's it, I'll come up with an update in the future. I'm also gonna graft more varieties onto this tree as time goes by.